first, John Nichols was just a lad of 17 when he joined the Royal Navy. Little did he know he'd be part of one of the most daring and bloody operations of the Second World War, the D-Day landings of 1944 in Normandy. Now, almost 75 years later, he's been awarded the Légion d'honneur, the highest military award in France. Victoria Smith went to meet him. What was your job on the ship? Same a veteran of D-Day, the campaign that turned the tide of the Second World War. 93-year-old John Nichols from Mitcham served on HMS Argonaut, firing on German guns. Now he's received the Légion d'honneur, France's top military honour, for his service. I'm very proud of myself, really. <laughs> I'm very appreciative as far as the French people were concerned. To think they acknowledged it even after all these years. No, I'm very happy about it. It's almost 75 years since the Normandy landings, and John remembers it well. I was in this turret, X, A, A, B, X and Y. I was in X turret. You could see the Germans and the German tanks just beyond the beach that were coming over the bridge out of the woods, and that's what we was that's what we was firing at, so that they wouldn't impede the, the troops running up the beach too much. He also delivered troops onto the beaches in smaller boats, LCTs. He lost 65% of his hearing on D-Day, but saw others die. I just don't think of them sort of once a year. I think of them all different times of the year. People that I knew, they didn't just lose their hearing, they lost their life. That's more, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. John's daughter Linda says she's learned a lot from his courage. He would always want us to wake up and think about every moment and be present um, and be appreciative and um, honour all beings. This June, John will be honouring all those who took part in the D-Day landings all those years ago. Victoria Smith, ITV News. And John, you're so right to be proud. Congratulations.